I think I am a beneficiary baby of the things that happened 50 years ago. And so personally, professionally, financially, and spiritually, I try to make sure that the next generation understand from whence we've come, that we're standing on the shoulders of giants. And I use those opportunities to not only teach where we come from, but also where we're headed, and to use the resources of the community to make sure young people benefit to reach their full potential and promise. And I do that personally, professionally, financially, and spiritually. For the, fact, for the past several years, all of us at the museum have been aware of the 50th anniversary coming forward, the commemoration of not just the bombing of the 16th Street Baptist Church, but all of the landmark civil rights events and activities that took place in Birmingham that there really was, we say it a lot, but we say it a lot because it's true, Birmingham really was the crucible for change, the place to change the world. And we knew we wanted to organize an exhibition or series of exhibitions that could really reflect, try to adequately reflect on not just those historic moments, but where we are 50 years later. What has changed in Birmingham? What has remained the same? What do we learn from these events? And most importantly for us, how can art help engage our whole community around issues of race, of equality, of humanity, and history? Well, I, I think uh, part of what's purpose is uh, one of these examples of how we transform this community. It's a day of empowerment. Uh, of course, art is one of our focus points, and it has been from the inception, and certainly would not have been able to do this without the Birmingham Museum of Arts, one of the best art institutes in, uh, in the southeast, if not in, uh, Alabama, uh, in the state, I mean in the United States of America. So, uh, but it's a great place, a great venue, uh, certainly um, able to reach a person beyond measure. And so I am uh, just excited that part of what the purpose bring that kind of concept. And, uh, and today, you know, as we would experience thousands of people, uh, you know, making a pyramid here today, uh, certainly it speaks to that. And we could, could not have done it without the Birmingham Museum of Art. Um, I think I'm volunteering in the community um, and just using my times and my gift and my talents to serve others. I think serving people is the most important thing we can do to move our community forward. Um, it's something we can pass down to our children, uh, something you can pass on to friends, and I feel like there are agencies and areas where you can volunteer that serve any of the passions that you have. So if you're passionate about art, you can volunteer at the Art Museum. If you're passionate about gardening, you can do a co-op garden for somebody. If you're passionate about seniors, you can volunteer in that realm. So I feel like there's so many areas you can volunteer and just serve others so that you leave a legacy behind of, of serving and loving people. 50 years from now to make my community better. Um, if I'm around. <laughs> <laughs> what I will do is to try and ensure that the arts are in the schools because that's something I think is missing for so many kids, so many inner city kids. Arts isn't a part of, of the curriculum, but if we make that a part of, and you never know what will come out of, you have artists, uh, various forms of artists. So just to make sure that art is a part of the school system would be great. All of the projects the museum has right now with our 50 Years Forward programs um, are really speaking to that. The museum is really interested in being a vital part of the community, being a relevant social resource. And these programs are opening up dialogue that we haven't seen in the museum in a long time. And I think as the museum becomes a more relevant place, as Birmingham continues to go through revitalization, we want to be a part of that. One of the things that my background is in healthcare, and I see a lot in our community where people are not being as conscious as they should be about their health and the choices that they're making. Um, what I propose to do in my community is to really educate people about the choices that they're making um, food-wise as well as the things that they're doing to make their health better. I'm proud to say that I'm the Chief Professional Officer of the AG Gas and Boys and Girls Club. And our club strives every day to make sure that our kids are connected to their past. Birmingham has a wonderful, rich history of, of not only struggle, but overcoming those obstacles. And we've got a great community, and our kids need to know that they are in a historic place and celebrate that history. What I would say I'm doing today to make the community better 50 years from now is a, kind of a two-part answer. Uh, the main thing is that I contributed 
a good soul to the world. I raised a, a talented artist who uh, is currently seeking his degree in art and in music uh, creation. I feel like, you know, I, I live a lifestyle that complements the betterment of the community in many different ways uh, with regards to my parenting and my outlook and, and sharing that with as many young people as I can with the work I'm doing with the Alice Stevens Center, teaching poetry and music in schools and also putting together a festival, the Birmingham Arts and Music Festival that showcases uh, up and coming acts and, and some more famous acts, but putting them all together so that they can be discovered by, by the community. Right now, real life poets, what we're doing to make the community better 50 years from now is creating uh, better people, better young people, uh, giving them a voice uh, to where they have to have an opportunity for, uh, to create change uh, for that 50 years. So there will be a 50 years uh, later, you know, 50 years forward, um, using the artistic uh, the different artistic avenues to truly give our young people uh, an outlet uh, that expresses the ideas, the thoughts, the, uh, the give them a sense of community. Well, um, through my studies and my research, I'm able to participate in research looking at healthcare disparities, um, uh, looking at uh, different aspects of quality in healthcare and to try to improve our healthcare system. And with music, and this kind of ties in with the, uh, the education portion, um, just really, uh, one thing that I've been really um, very taken aback by is that I've had people come up to me, aside from liking the music, they've uh, respected my approach to the music. And um, so just kind of trying to realize that I, I, I potentially am an example to other people in the community. And so through um, trying to get my education and through um, trying to do music uh, kind of quote unquote the right way, um, I hope to at least impact some of the people around me and um, future generations that way. And of course, like I said, um, with my research in healthcare organization policy, um, hopefully that will translate into real world solutions to some of our problems. My community really is my church. I talk to the, the youth, trying to inspire them about what they want to do in life. I feel like the you know, youth needs a listening ear, you know, and I feel like I can tell them, you know, what would be best for them, uh, encourage them how to get where they want to go.